right now isn't this little ceramic mug so cute I got it from um, Franca Brooklyn they have really cute um, ceramic mugs and stuff it's really cute I really like it let's see what is on today's agenda oh I have a meeting or a call today at 12 it's still in the morning right now so I have time but I think that's the only call I have this morning guys it is one week until Jasmine's wedding, my best friend's wedding. And if you guys are just new to my vlogs, um, my best friend is getting married and I'm a bridesmaid and it's just crazy that it's in literally a one week from today. And I don't, I still, I feel like I still have not, I don't know, it still has not hit me that like my best friend is getting married. And it's always crazy to think about just how like I grew up, we grew up with each other, you know, we would talk about our first crushes and like our first kiss, like stuff like that. And then now one of us is getting married. And I just think it's so crazy how life is really just moving forward. And I don't know if it's gonna hit me closer to it or on the day of, but I know I'm gonna start crying because I'm just emotional like that and yeah so get excited for bridesmaid wedding vlogs because we have the dress rehearsal we have some stuff that we're gonna do as a bridesmaid and the groomsmen and obviously just kind of like prepping for the wedding and when I have to get my nails done because we are not having these ones for the wedding these ones are my blue ones that I got I wanted to do something fun before I do something simple and classy um i think i'm gonna do either french tips or kind of like a off-white pinky color for my nails for the wedding um but yeah we have lots of wedding prep to do this is my first wedding of my best friends and i'm still shook all right this is one of rocket's favorite things we have this little lick mat the lick pad thing and I just bought a new tub of peanut butter because we ran out but I just put some peanut butter or whipped cream or something on this lick mat and he just licks away don't you you love this thing huh guys I really try my best to occupy rocket I try to give him toys but he has just super strong teeth or he just always gets into the stuffing i oh i get him new toys literally every single week because he just chews through them um we get him those little mental games and he's just too smart he figures it out in literally five seconds i just try to do these little things to make him happy i'm telling you guys he gets so excited you want this huh go come on go to your bed the boy, you a good boy. You gonna show them? You gonna show them? Why is the lighting like this? Okay, between. Good boy, sit. Good boy. Yeah. Here. <laughs> and he just looks away. Okay, I mentioned in previous vlogs that I was going to take a bunch of stuff that I don't use that I have duplicates of and just I just have so many products that brands send me and I would donate them I would give them to a bunch of my friends and family and I feel like I should give some to you guys because obviously I would not be getting these products if it were not for you guys there are just a bunch of products here that I have duplicates of um, because brands will send you kind of like the same things and I'm either not out of it yet and these are just like really really great products as well I have this box down here as well and i think i'm just going to um keep piling things up as they come and stuff that i don't use i think i'm going to do like a giveaway on my instagram sometime probably in the next two weeks or something i want to keep accumulating stuff because before i move to austin i want to give these things away and these products away so that they don't go to waste you know so this has just been on the side of my <laughs> nightstand just like a bunch of hair stuff um skincare beauty products 
These are really good. These are the CoverGirl ones. They sent me some more and I still have the ones that I um, originally got from them. These are really great as well. Um, yeah, so I just have a lot of stuff here that I feel like you guys could get some good use out of. So make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram and keep updated with that. Um, I'm not going to do it just yet because I want to get as much products as I can to give to you guys before I start packing all my stuff to move because these are just like things that I don't necessarily need to bring with me when I move and yeah so there's just an update for you guys I am still I know I keep talking about oh, I'm gonna give products away well I am it's just piling up right now I'm just kind of getting all these things together I don't necessarily know how many people I'm gonna choose I don't know I think I'm just going to kind of put all of these in little giveaway boxes I'll put a little bit of everything a little bit of the hair stuff, skincare, beauty kind of thing so that it's spread out a little bit um, because obviously these are not all gonna be the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'm still figuring out how I want to do that but I have a lot of products so I feel like I can choose a lot of you guys to give these things to. So yeah, there's just an update on that. I'm about to be in a meeting in like 15 minutes. My legs are kind of sore this morning. <laughs> I went for a run yesterday, a little bit longer than I normally would. Um, as you guys know, I'm, I've been taking up a new hobby of running. Yesterday, I ran two miles, which might not seem like a lot to some of you guys, but for someone who never runs at all, the thing with me is that I avoided running because I always was like, I don't want to lose weight. My whole thing was like, I need to gain weight, gain weight, gain weight. So um cardio was never a thing but now i kind of moved past the idea of losing weight and just realized it's something that i actually enjoy um so yeah it's only been like a week of me starting running so two miles i feel like i'm pretty proud of myself for that i went down to if you're in the philly area i went to um pretty much close to where Morgan's Pier is, basically kind of like a little bit past the bridge. Um, and there was this area where I went, you can go under the bridge. It was really nice, it's right by the water and I really enjoyed running by the water. So that has been really fun. Actually, Brooks running. If you guys follow me on my TikTok, I kind of keep you guys a little bit more updated with like what's going on. But, um, so I got those running shoes from Brooks and they like, messaged me on Instagram saying, hey, Sophia, we saw your TikTok. We'd love to send you uh, apparel and gear and shoes. And I was like, holy shit, that's so crazy. So, you know, I'm trying to um, stick with this hobby of mine because I've got Brooks running um, supporting me right now. <laughs> Hi guys, I got off my exciting meeting or call that I had and I am so excited to share with you guys the things that I'm working on. It was a call for Ignite Apparel because we are working on our like summer collection and like what we're gonna launch for the summer. So once I get our samples in and stuff, I'll obviously start to talk to you guys more about like getting into the process of what's going on again and all that stuff. But still kind of vague right now because we're still in the process of getting everything all squared away. But yeah, very exciting call. Um, this is my outfit today. I don't even know if I shared. You guys know I love my zip up from Amazon. It is literally the best. I think I wanna go buy a white one. I don't know if they have other colors. I know they have a white one, um, but this is just like the best and I love it. Then these shorts are actually from Whitney Simmon X Gymshark line Anna got for me for my birthday. And they're really cute because they have this little thingy right here and then all across the band it says it's a beautiful day to be alive and I really like that but oh my god I almost stepped on your tail <laughs> that is the outfit for today I don't have any calls or meetings left for today um, I do want to go for a run later also do you guys see how long my hair is getting I don't know if I should cut it again or if I should let it grow out. I was also debating if I should just cut the front because this is how long the front of my hair is. If I should just cut it, like have the curtain bang things again. Even though I feel like my hair already looks like it has curtain bangs because of the way it waves, you know? 
Um, but yeah, I don't know what I should do with my hair. If you guys want to give me any suggestions what to do or just leave it as is. I honestly uh, don't hate my hair. I feel like it looks good as it is. Maybe I'm just bored and want to do something with it, but you know. I've been eating a lot of Chobani yogurt lately. I always just have some in my fridge. I've just been really into Greek yogurt and you know, it's another thing to add some calories and probiotics into my system. I think I want to do a Q&A sometime soon. Someone commented on my last uh, video it said it's so important to have hobbies that you enjoy when you're an adult I love going to the gym, but wanted to have more outdoor activities to do so I picked up roller skating and tennis would love to start running too and I love that because as an adult you think that or maybe you don't think but for me It's I always kind of had this impression that you know once you're an adult you kind of just have to work Do everything in a certain way or whatever. There's no time for fun, but I realized like Growing up, you need to have these hobbies and you need to do a lot of things that you enjoy for yourself. And when I was reading that comment, I was thinking that you're so right that you need to have these hobbies and stuff that's outside of work, you know, outside of even just other people, just things that you really enjoy for yourself. Um, but yeah, especially now that it's getting warmer out, I feel like Everyone is more motivated to do more outdoorsy things. And you know, you gotta get rid of the seasonal depression somehow, some way. Good morning guys, it is the next day. It is the morning, I'm actually drinking my coffee and having my breakfast. I'm just having some bagels and I'm doing some journaling. I've been doing a lot of journaling, especially this month, because this month is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I feel like, I don't know, the month is really speaking to me, and I'm doing a lot of, um, I guess, inner work again. You guys know I love doing journaling and stuff like that, um, but you know, it's been a really busy few months for me with just like moving and just everything, so I haven't really had much time to even read in general, so um, I am trying to dedicate more time into journaling and just kind of like mental health for mental health awareness this month. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like what I've been doing. I've been really liking this book. This is the one that I talked about in the other vlog. It's The Mountain Is You by Brianna Weist. And I really like it. There's like a lot of really, really good um, things that she talks about in here, a lot of stuff that I actually really enjoy to write down and kind of like take note of. So that's been a really good read. And Rocket is over here. I gave him some peanut butter on his lick pad, <laughs> his daily dose. I also got him that little uh, trunk with squirrels in it and I thought he was gonna enjoy it more but he doesn't really play with it. But yeah, anyways, that is what I'm doing this morning. I'm also already I'm also already changed for the gym because I'm gonna go to the gym after I have breakfast and kind of get my mind ready for the day. Yeah, that's what's up. Hopefully you guys are also taking care of your mental health for this month. <laughs> I'm back from the gym. I just got this, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I got this package from Joan Frieda. It's so cute. It's their Show Us Your Shine, Shine Bright collection. Vibrant Shine Color Shine collection. We have the shampoo, conditioner, and this is the shine spray. Anyways, I'm back from the gym. My hair looks a mess. I went to go to the package room and then I went to go pick up some um, salmon because I wanna have salmon rice bowls. I don't know why, I've just been craving salmon, so I'm gonna make that for lunch. But yeah, I need to take a shower. I'm sweaty, gross, and I'm gonna drink my protein. Guys, I've been super lazy with making protein shakes. I've just been buying these um, in packs, the Premier Protein ones. These are 30 grams of protein and just keep it in my fridge and just drinking it. It's so lazy of me, honestly. I don't have any more protein powder also and i just haven't 
went and bought some protein powder. So I have just been um, buying these things. It kind of reminds me of Ensure, Ensure something. <laughs> if you guys know anything about Ensure, um, I used to drink that all the time when I was younger, when I was like really skinny. I'm skinny now, but when I was really, really skinny and I was trying really hard to gain weight, I would drink Ensure every day. And it, it kind of gives me that vibe, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna shower and then actually I think I'm gonna put these in the oven and bake these so that once I'm out of the shower it'll be done. This is like a super easy recipe honestly. You just take some aluminum foil into a baking sheet. And then I take some oil, just drizzle it on there. Take some salt. I'm gonna take some pepper. And I also, I don't have any fresh lemon, so I'm just gonna use just lemon juice and put some on here. I don't really like to do too much seasoning on my salmon. And then for the temperature, I'm just gonna do 425 for 20 minutes. And that's basically it. And then I just cook some rice with it, sriracha, um, mayo, and soy sauce. I don't have any seaweed but I just like it as is. I've been using this eyebrow gel from Persona or Persona and it's in the color charcoal. And I honestly, this is probably like one of my favorite eyebrow gels. I feel like the color, okay, well granted my um, eyebrows are black, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I feel like the color of it is really nice. It's just black, honestly, but it looks really natural and it really fills in my brows when I use it and it keeps my brows in place by not, but also not being crunchy. Do you guys know those um, eyebrow gels that are, they just feel hard on your eyebrows? This feels really good and I've been using this for maybe like a week and a half now and I really like it. If you guys also have dark eyebrows and kind of like thick eyebrows, um, I really like this uh, eyebrow gel and I've never actually heard of it. They sent it to me. I think this is a Korean uh, brand. It says, it says swipe up. So cute, but yeah, I really like how it, um, I only need to do one swipe of it and it fills in my eyebrows really nicely and it doesn't feel hard or crunchy and it stays on all day. So there's my little recommendation for the day. I've never actually heard of this brand before, but 10 out of 10. I also got two packages here. This one is from Orate. So these are like really nice quality jewelry. I'm so excited. So I got these, um, this pair of bold hoops. You guys know me and my gold. I haven't been wearing my rings today, but um, I also have this ring. That one's so pretty. Hi. <laughs> And then we have this one. This one's really pretty as well. I'm so excited. And then I got this package from Avita. This is their anti-frizz plant protection. We've got the anti-frizz shampoo, anti-frizz conditioner. What is this? The blow dry plant powered frizz control heat styling spray. This one is the style prep smoother frizz control leave-in treatment serum. Cute. You guys already know, it's that time of the year where it's raining all the time, it's humid, and my hair gets frizzy. So I'm excited to give these a try and I will let you guys know what I think. What do you think? <laughs>